Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 Mare Nostrum for the Mare Nostrum achievement as Austria. Now we have achieved a great feat of having a personal union over France, however, and that will be difficult to keep, so we do have to keep that in mind. Um, although the wait a minute. Did the liberty desire fall too low? Actually I just loaded the game, so this might not be accurate. Let's let's unpause it for a few days and see if it changes. It did change, in fact, but it's still not a problem. And Saxony wants an alliance. Do I already have a relationship with Saxony? Mm, I do have a royal marriage, but uh, I don't think I want any more allies. I am at 8 out of 6 diplomatic relations. If I had any free, I would have mm, established a royal marriage with Castile, because that would save me some hassle in the Iberian Peninsula. However, they are currently at war with England, so it might not be the best choice of action. Especially since we really need our Diplo points. Now, the next idea. I have decided to go with the administrative ideas. Groups. Group. Mm. With the administrative idea group. Uh, because mm, it now offers three good things instead of two it used to offer. The core creation cost, the tech reduction, and the additional states. So let's do that, and the next idea will probably be influence. So we can start annexing those subjects. Now we will not focus on the admin idea group. We'll just pour a couple of points into it uh, when we are ahead of time on administrative technology. And I have uh, taken the first idea so that we can get this. Fort maintenance minus 10%. It's not a lot, but it will increase our income. Now, um, I could attack somebody here. However, Ragusa is in a trade league. Oh, it's a very small trade league. Uh, I suppose I could attack them. Yeah, that could be useful. Oh, I was also considering taking the um, aristocratic idea group because it was it would um, give us more income from vassal, vassals and an additional diplomat. However, I think the administrative idea will be more useful. All right, so who do we attack next? I think it should be someone in the Balkans. I don't want to fight the Ottomans because I wouldn't get... Actually, what I need now is a diplomat so I can check my options. Let's unpause. And now, if I were to attack the Ottomans, I wouldn't really get anyone to fight on my side. Hungary, for some reason, likes them. And the Ottomans are apparently not as strong as they used to be. Still, they are powerful. Uh, with France and Bohemia on my side, I shouldn't really be in trouble. Mm, but I don't want to fight Morocco, Tunis, and Homs and the Ottomans right now. Uh, especially without allies. Maybe if Muscovy expands a little bit so that they will border or even get closer to the Ottomans, then I'll try to lure them into this war and get more stuff. Now, this might be a good moment to attack uh, Denmark, because Denmark does hold imperial territory. Okay, and they really wouldn't get many allies, and they are at war with Sweden. We could even call Muscovy, but I don't think I want to call Muscovy in. And we could also take Holstein for ourselves, I'm not sure if I will want to do that, since we do have a lot of aggressive expansion, but I might ask them to release it. And finally, we could attack England, but I still don't really have a fleet, so I might want to wait with that. Okay, I think I have decided. Let's attack Denmark. Can't really get any claims, so the only thing we can do is get the Imperial ban. And I don't even have to call anyone in, since we will easily beat them with our subjects. Now, I don't really want to, or rather I can't really demand unlawful territory. Oh, I can, from Trier. Do I care about your vote for me? Not really, everybody else is voting for me. Yeah, let's take, let's take the province from Trier. Metz. Do that. And it will become Lorraine. Perfect. So I should be at speed 3. Now let's declare war on Denmark. So that we can strengthen the empire. They are losing against Sweden anyway. Now actually what I could do is become friends with Sweden. 
so that they don't rival me when they win the war. Although they will probably be much weaker than me, so they won't be able to rival me. Uh, doesn't really matter. Let's fight Denmark. Friesland and Verden. Friesland is here and Verden is... Let me see who they are allied with, so I can decide if I want to make them co-belligerent. This is Bremen, Oldenburg. Verden should be somewhere around here, if I remember correctly. Really? Can't find them? Okay, let's do it in a different way. Mm, Verden. Oh, yeah, we clicked on it, but I looked at the province name and not the country name. And you are, in fact, allied with uh, nobody that I want to fight. All right. Actually, I would like to take some stuff from Brandenburg or the Teutonic Order. Actually, the Teutonic Order likes me for some reason. Mm. But that would break our alliance with Hungary, and I don't really want to do that right now. I might want to do that later. If we want to impose yet another personal union. Okay, let's just attack Denmark. Not calling anyone in. There's no need to. Okay, and... I should probably use my armies at least a little bit. We do have full, almost full manpower. Uh, let me just check if I have no loans. I have no loans. Good. Okay, you guys. Mm, we'll uh, wait a little while and regain the morale. Actually, you know what? They're probably busy fighting Sweden, so let's just attack. And we're also fighting Friesland and Verden. Maybe I should concentrate my attacks on them so that we can eliminate them from the war and make it faster. They are both Imperial States, so I don't want to annex them or anything like that. I'll just take some prestige and some... And some... what's the word? Money! Yes, exactly, money. I'm still considering getting a marriage with Castile. It would be nice to have more opportunities. However, they are at war with England and might get really, really destroyed. Okay, Bohemia is fighting Denmark and losing. Let's send them reinforcements. Uh, they might be too late. And my generals are crap, so... Doesn't really matter. We have improved relations with the Papal State as much as we could, so our Papal influence should increase slightly. Now, who should I improve relations with next? Maybe Brandenburg? Now they're almost capped. Mainz, we... Yeah, we could do Mainz. Improve relations. We are close to passing the next reform, because we actually have quite a bit of territory that is... Um, that is not imperial, and we can add to the empire. Okay, France, you go take that. We will have some trouble going into um, into their capital because of the straight crossing. However, this can be... Uh, we can just get a lot of war score from occupying uh, that area here. Now, Mainz... Main, no, sorry. Münster. Münster is... Somewhere here. They have annexed Gallery. Oh, I won't stand for that. Give Gallery back. That's better. Yeah, we do want to maintain pluralism in the Empire. And the more states, the better. There are some that have been annexed, like Unholt. But I can't really do anything about it unless I go to war with the current owner. Now, Brandenburg hasn't really annexed anyone, or rather they have, but we forced them to release that, so it's not a problem. And Bavaria... Bavaria has annexed Ansbach, so I should probably fight Bavaria soon. Actually, I will probably... yeah, you know what? Let's send some spies there. Do I have um, a Cassus Belly on you? I don't think so. No, I don't. Mm, so let's get one. Let's build this spy network. Alright. I don't really want to use all my armies. This is an easy war and my subjects can handle it. And if France loses some manpower, all the better for us. So... Let's let them. I could invest in the next Diplotech level when it becomes available. 
or I could try to fill the idea group, which will in turn reduce the cost of diplomatic technology. It all depends on how long we can keep France loyal. Cardinal across the border. Do you want to steal a cardinal from Salzburg? Oh, don't we have a mission to improve relations with them? Oh, of course we do. I completely forgot. Right, let's take the guy from Mainz and finally send him to Salzburg. I keep forgetting about my missions. Okay. And France is doing their bit. If you can get here, that would be wonderful. Although I doubt you can. Actually, I might not uh, sign separate peace treaties with Friesland and Verdun. I might just use them for war score. Oh, right, I forgot about Norway. It would be great if I could get some land in Norway. Maybe spread our reach over here? We don't really need that for the Roman Empire, but I do like owning things. Now, um, I suppose I could recall the diplomat from France. What are our relations? Our relations are very good. Yeah, I can afford to recall the guy. And let's see what I could get from Denmark. And they still wouldn't agree to that. We wouldn't get a coalition for taking Holstein. Actually, what if I asked you to release them? Well, we would get no aggressive expansion, and it would be an imperial province, an imperial prince. Mm, so maybe that's better. Also, I could take... Um, I could take some no stuff in Norway, if we can get to Norway. Who are you fighting? Oh, you're fighting the Teutonic Order, and the Teutonic Order is currently blockading you. So can I get across? No, I cannot. Well, because we haven't taken the fort yet. Let's wait. Franz, how are you doing? Mm, actually, you're doing very well. Because the Teutonic Order is blockading it for you. Good. Do that. I wonder how much... Um, because Sweden is winning, right? Yeah, Sweden is winning. Um, I wonder how much stuff I will be able to take in Norway. Actually, if Sweden breaks the union between Norway and Denmark, then we will be able... Can I go through now? Yes, I can. Oh, right, I need military access from you. And then I would be able to sign a separate peace deal. And the good thing about all that land up there is that it uh, doesn't really give a lot of aggressive expansion. Okay, let's send them to Norway while we can, while they are blockaded, and France should take care of their capital for us. And Friesland has been taken, so let's send both the armies. I'm not using everyone on purpose, I just don't want to lose too much manpower. And the Norwegian lands are very, very attrition generating. Denmark is now... what? Denmark or Savoy? Yeah, that's uh, Savoy, not Denmark. I was worried there for a while, although I don't think they could excommunicate me. I will unfortunately have to stay Catholic at least until I annex France, because changing religions would uh, be really problematic. However, I would really like to be reformed, but keeping a hold on France while changing religions will be difficult. Castile still has no air. This is tempting, but I really shouldn't do it. Okay, let's... Um, let's send one of you... Don't attach to me anymore. Let's send one of you to take the fort, and you... I shall split multiple times. Um, are you the guy with siege value? Oh, you're actually the guy with siege value. Okay, so you go take the fort. And you I shall split several times as well. Adolf von something something. Scotland wants a royal marriage. Don't I have one already? Interesting. Muscovy has no heir. 29 years old. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Uh, I, I wouldn't get a straight union with Muscovy. But we could establish something for a succession war in the future. Which would be very difficult, but doable. Okay, now you guys, I will distribute to take the rest of the Norwegian lands, so Sweden can't do that. Uh, 
Okay, and you shall go north. Very, very much to the north. Very far to the north. Now, it would be perfect if we could take uh, the islands as well, but the mm, Danish fleet won't really let us, I believe. We could try it, but we could lose all our ships. See, they have a lot of ships. However, do you have any forts here? Mm, they don't, so we can take them in a peace deal, even if we don't uh, control them, I believe. Or can we? Um, we can't, because this is not a direct... Uh, wait a minute. What if I clear the offer? Oh, since this is Imperial Liberation, I can only take some stuff. That is unfortunate. Imperial ban, actually, not liberation. Hmm. That's unfortunate, really. I wonder if I will be able to take more from Norway. France, why are you not sieging this province? Should really send someone into their capital just in case. Now, um, Tunis is raiding our coasts. Really don't mind that too much. And you guys should not attack here, not yet. Okay, um, it should be explained somewhere. Acclamation of Holstein. Seems that it cannot ask for any territory. That is not directly in the deal. We could humiliate them because they are our, they are our rival. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just do that and release Holstein and maybe Gotland. Since that will give us some prestige. Okay, we will need to wait for Warscorn to do that though. Uh... Generalandtag. Centralization of Austria. Perfect. Mon monthly autonomy reduction. Right. No, there will still be a battle. I want to take that province, but I don't want a battle. Reichs. Oh, there's a lot of stuff going on. Okay. Reichs uh, Hofrat. Diplomatic reputation increase and idea cost decrease or stability. Well, this lasts for the whole campaign, so obviously I'm going to take the diplomatic reputation and idea cost reduction. Create the new council. Perfect. Yeah, stability at plus one is still very good. Uh, I don't really want to call anyone in, and... Have we completed the mission? On her? Has it expired? No, seems like we have completed it and I didn't notice. Okay, so we could conquer Raska. Isn't Raska in Hungary? No, no, it's uh, Ottoman. Okay. The rival of our rival, Mamluks. Increase relations with the Mamluks. Could be very useful. They would actually ally me. <laughs> That's interesting. I could use them to fight the Ottomans. Promise them land and then break that promise because I don't really need them. Yeah, that seems like a neat idea. Let's take that mission. improve relations and save them for later. Now I don't need mm, the military access through Sweden anymore. I can always redo that. And oh, no, we still have forces inside. Yeah, I forgot. Now they should be out of here soon and then I will cancel the access. Verdun wants peace. Um, I'm sorry Verdun, but you are contributing to my war score. Don't worry, I won't take anything from you. Okay, now we can cancel the access through Sweden. It's really unfortunate I can't take anything from Norway. That would be such a nice thing to have. Norwegian land. Now, do I want to release Holstein or do I want to own Holstein? If I owned it, I could expand north into, no uh, into Denmark and then Norway. Oh, we lost Katerina Sforza. Okay, let's take the Inquisitor. I always like the Inquisitors. And I really want a Statesman, so let's keep firing people until we get a Statesman. Alright. 
Oh, we got black flag because they were in Swedish territory. Yeah, that makes sense. When we take their capital, we should be able to sign a PCO that we want. Uh, still no statesman. Let's keep doing that. I suppose I could hire someone until the statesman appears. But I do want tons of diplomatic reputation. The more we can stack, the better. Let's go to speed 4. Better relations over time. Actually, I could use that as well. Let's... Um, should I hire this guy and wait for new guys? Can I spend all that money? Okay, let's take him for now, and when we see a statesman, we'll take the statesman. Oh, we don't have enough troops to siege. Let's fix that. Oh no, I no longer have access to Sweden. Uh, okay, you can, you can do that. We can adv pass the Advancement of Religion Act. Now, this is a bad decision. Never pass that. It increases unrest in your country. Don't do it. Uh, national unrest or lose prestige. We will have tons of prestige after this war, so I will lose prestige. Oh, Georgia. Georgia has no air. Georgia is being conquered, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, we control your capital now. It is so very sad that I cannot take any land. Uh, can I do that in a separate peace deal? I couldn't. Hmm. Okay, so let's just take what we need. Um, I still haven't decided if we want to own or release Holstein. Okay, if I release Holstein and I humiliate you, you will accept. You will accept war reparations. I don't really need to conquer Denmark right now. We have plenty of other targets, uh, especially England and the Ottomans. So I think I'll just make them release Holstein. That should do. And humiliate them, obviously, because that will give us power projection. Uh, do you have any allies I would like to cancel? No. Okay, let's maximize the peace offer with some money. And that will be it. No. You know what? No. Actually, we want Holstein for ourselves. Why? Because we need to grow big and strong to keep France in check. And having many more states in the empire would be wonderful. But I think this is more important. And we can always... I can't decide. <laughs> it's so difficult. You know what? It's time to end the episode. So I will decide off camera so you don't have to hear me deliberate for a few minutes. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.